Calvin was born with a genetic condition. There's only 108 in the whole world that have this condition. It's called mandibulofacial dysostosis with microcephaly. Um, with his condition, it causes developmental delays, microcephaly, deafness. Um, most of the kids have a birth defect called a tracheoesophageal fistula, where their esophagus and their stomach aren't connected at birth. Learning new things for him is very hard. He doesn't understand. I can't run from mom and dad when we're in public because I might get hit by a car or I might get lost. Hannah was two when we started thinking about having another child. And we went through um, infertility for about three years. Um, the process through that was really hard. We thought, why don't we help other families? Why don't we help them get back on their feet and take care of their kids? Because we had all this love to give and we wanted another child in our home. And two months after we got licensed, we got a call for Calvin. Calvin has a lot of appointments. I mean, there's an appointment almost every week. So just getting to those is a challenge in itself, making sure everybody's up and in ready. And if he's having a bad day, it's even harder to get out. There's not really a whole lot to look forward to when you have a kid with medical needs. There isn't. I mean, as much as we love our doctors and his therapists and things, it's not really something to look forward to. So when we know that there's an adventure coming up, um, we get really excited. Honey, be careful, he's gonna knock that over. You wanna sit in my lap? I think for me, a kid again has definitely made me appreciate being a mom more because I get to watch them be excited about stuff. It's nice to be in that community when you're out and about and you're on adventures and you have to give your kid a, a feeding or medicine or you're venting a G-tube or you're changing your giant kid and changing their diaper and you don't have to worry about the stairs and you don't have to worry about other people being like judging and you don't have to worry about that. Everybody there is doing the exact same thing. That's the one <laughs> thing I worry about, people staring at Calvin. Yeah, she doesn't like that, but when we're on a kid again adventures, everybody's got something different. The scope it takes to put that all together and actually make it run efficiently, as efficient as you know a bunch of special needs kids and parents and families can be, it's very well run and well organized and uh, you can definitely tell there's a lot of love in that. You make us all feel kind of special. Like, yeah. Not just Calvin. <laughs> you make us all kind of feel. It, it, it's just, it's a, it's a chance to do something really cool with other with other families that know what you're going through that you just on any other given day you just wouldn't have the ability to go and do. Mm -hmm.